Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Truth Council 23 with me, Truth Nunez, and our spiritual council. We're so honored, grateful, and thankful to be here with all of you. You make me smile, my lovies. For some of you, you're really giddy. Yay, my lovies. And something about sex in the city. Here we go with this sex in the city. Some of you like sex in the city, my lovies. Welcome to everybody. Welcome, welcome uh, to Truth Council 23. Um, we are so honored, grateful, thankful to be here with all of you to share today's collective energetic read keeping in mind we are reading collective energies so take what resonates and leave what doesn't because you are and forever will be the masters here we go with the winkies as in the some of you like the winkies and someone likes a binky oh you got a baby my love he's a binky um but uh, take what resonates leave what doesn't you are the masters of your experience of whatever you will or whatever you will not into this creation we're going to go ahead and, and get started right away by honoring and thanking our spiritual council the name gavin is coming coming in. Um, I want to honor and thank my grandmama, Abuelita Gladys Nunez Maldonado. I also want to honor and thank my grandpapa. The name Christopher is coming in. Abuelito Felix Antonio Nunez. The name Jeremy. The name Jeremiah. Um, I invite you to do the same. I do honor and thank your trusted Alexander for some or Alex. Um, I invite you to do the same. I invite you to honor your trusted ancestors, those that protect and love and guide you. I invite you to honor whatever religious force, whatever spiritual force, whatever makes you feel good, grounded, and connected to the all as you are in this experience. You can also take a moment of silence to be in silence with yourselves that's also more than enough earlier today i got the name steven for somebody my lovies for some of you and for some of you you have a um your ancestors are not just like your grandparents and your parents um your ancestors you know oftentimes i have a uh someone that i considered a cousin while he was in life he visits me all of the time he visits me his name was davis um he visits me all of the time he's visited me in dreams he sends me signs all of the time um he used to love how i used to dance um he he was a great dancer bachata dancer um it's it's big in the dominican republic and uh so uh him and i we would dance together and uh as adults um but as children like uh he was always kind of like uh, uh a trickster um but for some of you you could have a cousin because something about a cousin is coming and everything is coming in for a reason uh this person could have been named steven or stefan or something like that and for some of you stefania is in the field but um yeah um, those are your ancestors too my lovies those energies they protect you especially if you had like and sometimes it'll surprise you uh, to see how they see you in the spiritual um, sense because for some of you, there could have been someone that you really didn't, um, something about rent. Uh, someone you could have lived with for some or someone that uh, always worried about rent for some but um, or someone's worried about the rent for some. But um, uh, people that you thought, and something about Oscar for some, but people that you thought that like they didn't really connect with you in the 3d um but in in spiritual sense they they absolutely adore you and they're there for you and you can call on them especially when you need uh when you need a friend when you need someone to listen put out food for them um everything is coming in for a reason maybe for some of you if you're feeling um i love the rain but i know a lot of people don't like the rain i love the rain i absolutely adore the rain i it's 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 my it's my friend um but um for some of you maybe in in times where things are looking a little gloomy um everything is coming in for a reason maybe put out food maybe put out their favorite food if you find yourself oftentimes what i notice is that i crave especially when my grandparents really need something from me um i crave their i crave what they used to like i crave doing things they used to do um uh so maybe for some of you like putting out a plate and and thinking or maybe you know like you can put out a plate and just write a letter write a letter to dear oscar i don't know write a letter to uh theodore uh th these names are coming in for reasons um uh write a letter to talia for some talia has been very present for some write a letter to these people write a letter to uh, uh annie to auntie annie something about auntie annie but i'm seeing like the pretzels too but write a letter maybe put out someone used to like auntie annie pretzels you put that out for them you know just like and you write a letter to them and say dear friend you know um I know you're with me I, I you know I I in these times I want to share this with you I remember when we used to do this this and that and you give life to that energy and you give life to those loving memories um it's just something to consider my lovies everything is coming in for a reason and sometimes just for a season Someone's ancestor really liked pretzels because I'm seeing, and now I'm like, Auntie Annie pretzels. Somebody really liked Auntie Annie pretzels. Like, for me, um, it's always 
they they used to love bread and coffee so i mean for me the ritual of of coffee drinking is since my childhood and it, it has to do a lot with my grandmama and my grandpapa um and so bread coffee sometimes i'll put out like my coffee you i drink it after so i'll put it out and then i'll leave it maybe a minute or two and then i'll eat it i'll eat my bread my coffee and uh sometimes if it's food i'll put out a plate of food for them and they usually say once you put out an offering um you can give it to nature so you could throw it out into like uh you know like a wooded area and nature will recycle that energy um or you could you know give it to somebody or you could eat it yourself but depends on um the purpose of if it's for love and for thinking it depends on what uh, on the reasons why you're putting out the plate sometimes i'll put out the plate if if like i need clarity on a situation and i like to give that to nature um but you know whatever spirit brings you to do but everything is coming in for a reason for some um or maybe lighting a white candle to lift the spirits um you know whatever you like to do but um it's something to consider for some because it's coming in for a reason or maybe this is something that you already do for some of you you already thank your ancestors but maybe for those that that don't spirit maybe you know inviting you to honor the ancestors it's kind of like when you honor george washington even though you know you you honor their ancestors on the dollar uh you honor george washington you you honor the jeffersons but but your ancestors you don't give life to why are there statues everywhere of all of these people of all of these ancestors and there's such a you know they make a ruckus when you take when you take these off but yet they loot the 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 tombs of africa and they loot the tombs in egypt africa egypt and sudan and they go into the tomb raiders and they take out all of this stuff and they put it in the british museum so they take your you know and even your ancestors you know like uh ancient burial grounds ancient burial grounds right they take these people out of there but imagine if you did that to uh you know to another cemetery so maybe for some of you even visiting a cemetery and thanking your ancestors maybe it's time to visit maybe you haven't visited someone in a while and they want to visit 7 11 and 7 12 uh august 11th or august august 11th or august 12th okay for some of you august 11th or august 12th but july 11th and july 12th for some um or 7 or 11 or 8 for some um or 12 take that how it resonates anyways my lovies something about athena here we go with this athena energy for some of you you lost a pet i'm getting that song i don't want to be buried in a pet cemetery if anybody's watched that movie pet cemetery for some or there's a pet that got buried for some Uy. Uh, to mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. To mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. To mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. To mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. To mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. To mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. To mamá Merce. To mamá Merce. To mamá Merce. To Shango. To Shango. To Shango. To Yemaya. To Yemaya. To Yemaya. To Papa Legba, to Papa Legba, to Papa Legba, to Elegua, to Elegua, to Elegua, to La Santa Maria, to La Santa Maria, to La Santa Maria, to El Niño Divino, to El Niño Divino, to El Niño Divino, to San Miguel, to San Miguel, to San Miguel, to San Rafael, to San Rafael, to San Rafael, to San Uriel. To San Uriel, to San Uriel, to San Gabriel, to San Gabriel, to San Gabriel. To the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, all being, all seeing power. To the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, to your all being, to your all seeing power. To the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, to your all being, to your all seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? In love and truth and mercy, in love and truth in... 
in judgment and in kindness and love and truth and wisdom and love and truth and mercy and love and truth and judgment and love and truth and kindness and love and truth and wisdom and love and truth and mercy and love and truth and judgment and love and truth and kindness and love and truth and wisdom thank you guys what is up what is up what is up hot stuff how's it flowing how's it going what's popping and what's cracking we're reading for my darlings we're reading for my darlings we're reading for my darlings we're reading for you my lovies that is true 10 11 was on the clock and 10 12 so for some of you 11 and 12 definitely the 11th and the 12th are going to be very very significant for you um but what is up my darlings uh saint nick for some saint nick um you know what's curious my lovies today i was i've been um so when i uh i took french uh, a bunch of years of French, but um, to not lose it because I don't have a lot of French speaking people, but I have, it's funny, I actually, I've manifested quite a bit of French speaking people in my life, but, um, and I, I had a role for a while where I needed to speak French and um, a work role, but um, there was a while where I had a, a private tutor and uh, she introduced me to uh, this uh, uh, in France, they have a saint's day. So every day, so a lot of people are named after the saint of their day. Um, so for example, today, um, I think it's Saint Augustine, but there's a saint, um, there's a saint that uh, every day they have a saint and uh, each saint has a story. So the saint of today, for example, um, the saint uh, is the saint of fertility. They look after infants. They look after, she looks after midwives. And um, that's how she lived her life, actually, looking after midwives and and, and, uh, and whatnot. Um, and that's kind of part of her story. Uh, the saint from yesterday um, was kind of like a martyr in a way. So it's just interesting for some, you could look up saint's day and the saint of your day, or maybe to see what you were named after or which saint you were named after um if you grew up catholic it's coming in for a reason or roman catholic for some um but um what is up my darlings we're reading for you we're reading for february 2nd 2024 keeping in mind uh let the bodies hit the flow for some of you you're going to a party Keeping in mind that um, we are reading collective energies and also we are reading uh, based on whatever spirit needs us to read. So, you know, the Gregorian time frame helps to frame time to work within a certain function and in, in a certain network. Um, it doesn't mean that it governs all levels of consciousness. So whenever you are brought here, it is for a reason. So again, the time thing is kind of just to help you function within a framework, but there's also a larger context. Um, and so spirit, you know, brings up whatever we need to read for whether it be you know past events future events um or things that are happening in the present now the ever present now for some but um uh and for celia for others just celia Jacenia for some um so we're reading for february 2nd 2023 two energy is a state of duality uh Two energy is great for um, very intimate unions, two things coming together, two parties coming together. For some of you, uh, you could have a date. For some of you, you could be kissing somebody because I'm, I'm getting it like a... But as you see, the third, the third makes it weird. So um, <laughs> for some of you, you like that type of stuff. And your beard. For some of you, you got a beard. Um, but... Um, Two energy is all about a state of duality. Two energy is great for relationships. So, and especially on Venus Day. So for some of you, you could be feeling very romantic with your significant, romantic, the Romans. You could be feeling very tied to your significant other. You could be feeling very close to somebody. If you don't have a significant other, you could be feeling very close to a person um, or a situation, or you're very uh, involved in a process for some, or you're feeling very dedicated to something uh with that two energy it usually brings out the energy of a dedication uh, maybe for some of you you are dedicating something to somebody because i am getting like a dedicating of a song or buying someone flowers or doing something you know lovely for somebody uh, two energy is all about, you know, kindness within two energies or fondness or a bind, uh, 14, 12 on the clock or a bind between two energies. Um, but um, two energy is not that great when a third party is involved. It kind of throws off the things of, um, out of equilibrium. Uh, but for some of you, there's a pregnancy in the field. Um, but, um, you know, two energy um, is great for partnerships for coming together um, and two parties agreeing. Uh, three makes it a crowd. Um, something about rolling loud. This one wants to speak with you, so we're gonna look at this one first. 
from here on in, it's nothing but a downhill run. For some of you, something's going to get really easy. That's nice. Oh, we had a lot of stuff coming in the preliminary. For some of you, someone masturbates to the thought of you. That energy's been very present for some of you. Um, for some of you, somebody lied and said they didn't have sex with someone that they actually had sex with. For some of you, someone is ignoring you while dating other people uh for some of you this person who is ignoring you it could be someone with green eyes somebody is ignoring you green eyes with envy um this person can be very envious of your spiritual gifts because that came in as well for some of you you have someone who um is deliberately ignoring you this is like a real like narcissistic person for some who also spies on you and watches you secretly or you could be doing this to somebody my love i am just a messenger but all of this was present in the preliminary and this person is uh they're they're trying to destroy your self-esteem and feed themselves it's a real narcissist for some but they're ignoring you and dating other people as well for some um for some of you this person uh there's somebody or this could be this person or somebody else uh take what resonates leave what doesn't they are writing bad checks and they're actually going to get some type of charge um or they have already gotten this or they're about to um for some of you you're meeting someone new and this person is heaven on fucking earth <laughs> Um, you are meeting someone new. You got to check your DMs because it's someone you can meet online for some. And um, this person is amazing. It makes my mouth water. It's going to make you have a daughter, my lovies. <laughs> for some of you or you're going to make someone have a daughter take what resonates leave what doesn't um this person is very beautiful they're the emperor or the empress of your dreams that's how it came in for some of you um he he or she is a winner this is the win they are no sinner um you gotta check your dms though um what else came in well, as we go, well, for some of you, something's about to get really easy. Um, after dealing with someone who was really sleazy, to say the least. For some of you, someone's very arrogant as well. The one that you're leaving behind or take it how it resonates. Um, they're out of their mind. They think that because they have a lot of money, they could be an asshole. Um, and you got to leave them in their asshole way. Because that's what that, they, they belong. Like their head is... Someone's really also really perverted. Um, they... Um, they're not happy in their life and they want to um, put some of that misery onto you while treating others very nicely. For some of you, um, you're going, it's down. It's downhill from here, my lovies. Downhill run, it's a downhill run. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I'm getting? For anybody who has ran a marathon though, for some of you, you could be preparing to run a marathon. Um, but for anyone who has ran a marathon, um, it's funny because certain people think that like, after you've ran a long, long, long marathon, like you're like, you know, you're like on your 19th mile. And they're like, especially if it's a hilly area, people are like, yeah, yeah, it's downhill from here. And it's like, no. <laughs> For those of you who've ran a marathon, you understand what I'm talking about. Um, it doesn't feel good after you've ran so long for some uh, something funky is coming in this is always coming in i'm just going with the flow my love it's like after you've ran so long and you're running downhill then it's like now the hamstrings have been present for some being cautious with your hamstrings for some of you you could be working out and you're really sore like you could be actually like you could have like like you're getting back into a routine or you're trying to take care of yourself don't give up my lovies i get it but don't give up for some of you like your hamstrings could be very very sore or they're about to be because i am getting like that feeling like for some of you it's like you don't work out quite often or you haven't been and now it's like now you're getting back into the swing of things um because i'm getting like i've never experienced such like a sensation um like it's like when you run for so many miles and then you switch up the direction. So like you've been running like kind of uphill and then all of a sudden you start running miles downhill and it's like your body needs to get used to that and it kind of hurts the, your hamstrings. Um, everything is coming in for a reason. Someone's really excited to run something. No matter what, you're having fun. For some of you, uh, it's a downhill run, uh, but it could be uncomfortable, especially if you've been running for so long going uphill. Now it's like, ah. Uh... 
I got it. You get it, my lovies? You've been in such an uncomfortable situation for X amount of time. Take that how it resonates. Technically, it's getting easier because you would think that gravity is doing more, most of the work. But when you're going downhill, you've changed direction. Now things are easier, but because you were so in such an uncomfortable position for so long and you got used to that, that discomfort, now something that's easy is actually kind of seem, is, is seeming like a little uncomfortable to like get into. Do you get it, my lovies? I hope you see it. It's really beautiful. Because I'm like, wait, like something so great and positive because it feels, you know, positive, negative, great, whatever. This too shall pass. Sadness, this too shall pass. It all shall pass. But it's like... Because I'm like, my love's like, something's getting easier, but for some reason, someone's going to make it, like, uncomfortable. Like almost like is this too good to be true type of energy this is what it feels like but spirit's like from here on in it's nothing but a downhill run and it's like look like the horizons are open it's a long distance run but it's downhill and it's like the sun is shining for some of you you could be in a snowy area for some of you, it could be in a desert area. For some of you, it could be somewhere where there's a lot of trees or grass. For some of you, the plains could be significant. For some of you, I'm getting White Plains. White Plains, New York could be significant for some. This kind of looks like Saturn energy. For some of you, there, there's going to be a procedure that's going to be easier or something's going to be rectified in a procedure or it's going to be something's just going to be easier maybe a work process is going to be easier but it's kind of like you know when you implement a new system and and uh for me as someone that's worked in systems administration and has gotten to work with different systems and even at, at when i worked with verizon i had a lot of business customers and uh a lot of my role was actually to help train their staff and working with new systems helping them with new systems helping implement new systems so i I noticed for me because I've worked with so many different types of technology like I can adapt to many different technologies very very quickly but um I know that there are certain people it's like even if it makes their job easier they can't help but to like for example like I've worked with SAP and it's an ERP that a lot of people don't like for anyone who's ever worked with SAP um, because they feel like it's clunky. It reminds them kind of like almost like coding a whole system. And you know, these are common complaints. But for me, it's like it's actually pretty easy. Like um, as someone that's worked on the back end and on the front end of SAP, it's like it's pretty easy to me. It's like actually pretty self-explanatory and quite simple. And it, and it can work with different technologies and implement different systems so that it, it helps to, you know, for some of you, this could be a system implementation thing, like where you're having a, an issue, but now things are going to go it's all downhill it's all downhill from here like it's kind of like you know when that guy like is is uh he was on a punishment and he was pushing the 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 boulder up the freaking thing for eternity after a while you know uh, uh, after an eternity of pushing something up a hill it's like you get used to it you've trained for this but now that it's going downhill, you're like, oh my God, like now I have to run downhill. Now it's too easy, almost like something like that. For some of you, there's going to be something like that where it's like something's going to be like almost like after like a struggle, it's like, wait a second. Wait a second. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like, my lovies. It's like too good to be true energy, but it's not. You know what? I'm, you know who I'm getting? I'm getting that lady. Um, you see how that looks so different? You see how you kind of want to eat it, but you don't. <laughs> Can I have to do with food? A rebirth and a death. A rebirth and a death. The scarab beetle, though, or the beetles. You know how beetles push dung? My lovies, you won. You know how beetles push dung, and they're known to like be very strong. Something about a Trojan horse is coming in. Something about Trojan condoms. Um, a death and a rebirth. For some of you, a side piece is going to be pregnant. And this person is going to be abusing um, alcohol and it fall into some type of depression. Being cautious, my lovies. Don't get anyone pregnant that you wouldn't want to make a wife. 
I think, but you know, people do it all the time. <laughs> Anyways, the games they play, my lovies. Um, all right, let's. Uh, the thirty-two wants to speak with you. The baraja also wants to speak with you, and then we'll go with the flow, and we'll see how we grow. You like that, my lovies? Twenty-six oh five. 2605 technically 11 energy with the six and the five and then uh if we want to multiply you got 22 in there as well all right my loveys and something about this roswell energy and something about ronaldo for some ronaldo oh i also got the name cameron for some last night uh here we have a gentleman oh my gosh okay 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 here we got this wants to peak too so we have a gentleman this could be you as the quarant or this could be your significant other or this could be a, an important gentleman in your life uh this could be someone they have to say something <laughs> they have something to say for some of you um don't worry you can do no wrong there's some type of an illegit illegitimate feeling or an illegitimate child for some uh, we did say illegitimate child. We have somebody that has their head in the. We have a duck with the head in the in the in the floor. We have stop. We have an insignificant change. We have a significant change. Try to. Try to what? Try to relax, but someone can't relax. Uh, they can't relax, and this is a mess. And for some of you, someone can't relax because of their taxes. Um. Boom okay so not too many showed their faces um spirits asking someone not to worry that you can't do any wrong uh there is an illegitimate feeling um but also an illegitimate child for some um we have stop we have insignificant change so we have a significant change happening or you're in the process of significant change for some uh try to relax but you can't because the try to relax is in the reverse and then we have a do wacky do there's a duck with his head in the ground as we're talking about somebody with their head in their ass but um an asshole um but <laughs> take what resonates and leave what doesn't they were told um seven of clubs energy uh is communication and nine of diamonds there's some type of delay so for some of you there's delayed communication when it comes to a gentleman when it comes to you you're waiting on communication but it's delayed or there's going to be in the long run some type of communication about a situation and when this communication comes in it's like it's gonna fucking dump Excuse me, my lovies. Excuse me, my lovies. And something about the trunk. This communication, someone's going to dump a bunch of communication on you, my lovies. Because <sighs> they've been like... Oh, anyways. Anyways. Because they've been living a cosmic drama. Does consciousness ring a bell? They were under some type of spell. They had no power. Power was in the reverse. They lost power. For some of you, someone will be losing power. I am getting like the electrical grid going out somewhere. Um, there's a what's happening? It's the cosmic drama that's happening. Um, what else do they want? What else do they want you to know, my lovies? They want you to know. Kill Bill for some. I want you to know. I want you to know. They want you to know that they want you to know. Uh, stop worrying for some, but you can't because at this particular time the energies can't relax for some again someone can't relax i'm getting like something's supposed to get easier and someone's like no <laughs> like, <laughs> i don't want to grow the door to oh my gosh for some of you that was present the door to the akashic records are open they they are open all of the doors the doors to the akashic records are open my lovies for some of you you've unlocked uh a lot of divine memories and curves there are curves there are curves in a situation again i'm getting like windy roads that are supposed to get easier but because the akashic records are now open for some it's like it almost makes somebody really like unstable and kind of like nervous because of the fables that they lived it's like a whole rewiring because now you get like to see certain things and you're like oh my god that's what i've been missing all this time oh shit <laughs> oh no ish and so like they're a little the, the energies feel very jittery very nervous someone's very nervous because the akashic records are open meaning also that the legal records are now open take that how it resonates as above and so below so now you have like the karmic law taking place and for some somebody maybe didn't expect that 
This is what's coming in. I'm just a messenger. King of spades energy, some type of actual legal procedure for some, or a divine procedure, or there could be a procedure at work, or for some of you, a new implementation of a system or a new training that needs to happen. And as above, so below. But for some, it's like, this is supposed to help you grow, but it's almost like learning curves. For some of you, you could be studying a lot, or you're about to. For some of you, you could be studying law, and you're, or you're about to, and you're about to, too. 30, 12, but it's like... It's like when you take in a lot of information and you get a huge download and you need to take time to pause and process. Four of Swords energy has been very present for some because like you're downloading a whole new system and everything is now in place to allow you to go down. Like it's like, okay, it's easy now. But now it's like, is it easy? Because now that it's actually live, like I'm really uncomfortable. Everybody's uncomfortable. We're running through issues. We don't know how to this, that, that, this. It's like the resistance. <laughs> anyway. It's a natural, it's always, it's funny to me, in the natural flow and order of things, it's like, after great change, even if it's the best change, there's resistance. <laughs> or at least some resistance. Especially from older generations, all older software versions that can't, they, their system has, has gotten used to running a certain way. So you don't really talk about like just discrimination, uh, something about Desiree. Uh, you don't really talk about like discrimination in the workplace, especially when it comes to age. Yes and no. I'm not saying that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I'm saying that it's uncomfortable and almost causes, there was, there was this beautiful female, the name Sheila could be significant for some. There was a, a beautiful female I used to work with and she was the eldest in our, in, in our work group. And this woman, like, she's like, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I don't care if these people are younger than me. I don't care if they've been exposed to more technology than me, but this woman struggled. She struggled a lot. To the point where years after, like we maintained a uh, connection, we maintained contact. And when I would go back to Rhode Island, um, I would visit her, especially when I heard she had cancer. That was the result. She fought so hard um, and so many scars. And so, and she, she was really trying to, something about somatose, something about comatose. Someone's going to be comatose for some, oh my gosh, for some, um, a black magic ritual is going to backfire and someone's going to get into... Um, uh, an accident. This is their two week notice. Thank you, my lovies. Someone, uh, their dirty deeds will catch up to them. Spirit gave it as a two week notice. Uh, someone that pretended to be someone's friend or someone that was envious. They did some type of suicide. They did a, a suicide spell. They wanted someone to commit suicide or self-sabotage in a way, uh, you know, to kind of downplay it a little bit. Maybe they wanted someone to really like be in some type of precarious situation where they bring endings upon themselves or maybe they, you know, they ask, you know, it's like irrational quitting of your job and you're like, well, why did you quit? And you can't really explain it or the way it came in, someone did suicide spell work. Someone did suicide spell work. And so it's going to backfire and someone's going to have a, a, a freak accident. That's how it came in as a freak accident. People are so, some people are just really bored with their lives. It's just uh, incredible. But anyways, you know, something about edible arrangements. But um, for some of you, it's your sister. It also came in as for some, it's a sister. Um, but um, it's curious. It's, it's. <laughs> It's curious, this, this woman, she, she really tried. She really tried. But she's like, I almost died at that job. You know that, right? And I'm like, I know. She's like, I almost died. That's how stressed I was. Because if your system can't, it's like almost like putting a software version into your system that it can't take. So when they talk about like the crown virus, right? The coronavirus, the crown virus, the, the virus of the mind. And it's a, it's a, it's a great upgrade because then you get generation alpha isn't that interesting it's a great upgrade but not everybody can download that not everybody can support that system take what resonates leave what doesn't this is very interesting but anyways eight of spades energy sickness comatose for some two week notice for some someone was playing with something that they had no business playing with again for me do not attack anybody. Don't go trying to bully people. Don't go trying to look for problems with people. Don't try to invade people's personal space. Uh, leave people alone. If you can't help them, let them find their way home. Leave them alone. 
certain people they like to poke the bears especially when they're really immature in their soul when they really something about swollen the swollen glands it's like people that and usually it's the sickest of people looking for all the drama <laughs> like the sickest emotionally sick physically uh, sick something about a spick someone could be a racist spiritually sick anyways or someone likes to say spick anyways eight of spades energy um mental physical or emotional states of disease being out of ease for some i do also feel this as worry sometimes this could bring in worry or like stress or irrational stress for some i do feel like some are irrationally stressed i have to say my lovies um for some it's almost like spirits bringing things that are going to make things easier for you but you're really that came in the preliminary as well for some of you there are contrarieties or contradicting energies or contradicting forces that are making you uh look at something that's supposed to make things easier for you in like a very almost like warped way and so it's causing undue stress for others uh for you know a select few take what resonates leave what doesn't or someone around you um they're they're worried because they have reason to be because they know what they did if i was up in some black magic rituals or some type of dark uh, dark magic or uh or white magic dark magic whatever you want to call it white magic hoodoo voodoo cuckoo whatever you want to call it negative manipulation of energies to harm somebody i would be afraid to i would but that's why i sleep at night no matter where i am i sleep at night i'm very comfortable i'm not worried about shit i know spirit got it spirit got it spirit got it whatever happens spirit got it spirit knows my heart Spirit knows my heart. Spirit knows what I'm up to by myself. Spirit knows how I think when I'm by myself. Uh, spirit knows. Someone even needs to see a shrink or someone's been going to see a shrink, but they hold so many negative thoughts and I don't think the shrink is helping. I'm just the messenger. They don't get down to the real spiritual truth of the, of the matter. They're superficial. For some, this is someone you barely know, because for some, someone, uh, something came in, um, something about Sam, uh, something came in, um, someone that you don't know is trying to get you in trouble with the law for some, some people are really crazy. But they think they're right yet they can't sleep at night eight of spades energy is uh worry uh an older female who's going to be sick or a mother figure in this present moment for some of you when i got comatose i actually did see a mom so take that how it resonates for some of you uh it's an older female for some of you a mom uh oh my gosh this person is not doing good uh for some of you okay so spades do cut the story so here we have a sick older female a sick mother this could be you my lovies as a mom or as an older female worried about a situation or really need to just take care of your health for the mamas because uh, for some of you that energy you know does come in as well um especially in the last couple of weeks you know putting mother motherly and fatherly duties uh before your own health only because you don't want to take care of yourself not necessarily because you enjoy the motherly or fatherly duties i'm just a messenger my lovies or someone around you take it how it resonates um but um it's like somebody hiding behind parental Mental duties and in, in order to hide their pain 38 33 fudge uh in this present moment something is blocked and it's for success for some of you uh spirit is blocking someone or something and it's for the best rejection is protection We got changes, 10 of diamonds. For some of you, you're worried about changes. For some of you, you're worried about big changes. For some of you, you could be worried about moving or a home or travels. For some of you, you could be worried about a lie. For some of you, this is you as a gentleman. A king of clubs is you as a gentleman or your significant other. Uh, you got some type of news or face-to-face or a note or letters about this contract that's ending. For some of you, there is, I felt that I'm like the ace of spades with the nine of spades is not too far. What's that? When it comes to a work situation, there's an ending of a contract when it comes to a work situation. For some of you, a deceased. For some of you, a deceased person. For some of you, cease and desist. For some of you, um, there's an ending when it, com when it comes to a contract. For some of you, uh, Erica. For some of you, there's an older female who is passing. For some of you, this could be someone that was playing with some crazy shit. I'm, I'm just a messenger, my lovies. 
I, I'm saying everything for a reason. For some of you, there's somebody that's going to go on long-term disability because of a backfire. They're going to have a freak accident because of a... Spirit gave us very clearly. It's because of a backfire of, of some type of dark ritual. Somebody wanted to do a suicide ritual. Some people are fucking crazy. Even, like, for me, even saying it is, like, this is fucking crazy. That's just, like, how? Uh, someone used to call somebody weird. This is somebody that likes to make fun of, of somebody. My God. And the envy is driving them crazy. Their obsession drove them to insanity. Anyways, uh, for some of you, someone's going on long-term disability. For some of you, there's an end of a contract here. For some of you, you're going to get some type of money or you're signing for a significant amount of money with a well-meaning man. For some of you, you can be getting a bonus or a raise. For some of you, you're looking at your money or you're thinking about money plays. For some, it's coming in like that. For some of you, you're thinking of investing in a new home. For some of you, you have to pay your rent. For some of you, you have to renew a lease. For some of you, there's money uh, going into a property. For some of you, you can be uh, purchasing a new home or your significant other or you're looking at new properties for some or you're looking at a new place to stay. And something about a nook. A nook? You want something with a nook for some? Uh, something that's going to surprise you. Eight of hearts energy. A surprise, an invitation for some. A date. For some of you, date night. That thing's been present for some of you. A couple date night for, for you and your significant other. Certainly... There are delays in the situation, so a few months of a delay for some. For some of you, a delay when it comes to international travel, when it comes to distance travels, when it comes to moving homes at a distance for some. For some of you, certainly there are delays when it comes to an invitation to a contract or signing a contract for some. For some of you, delays when it comes to money. For some of you, you could travel or you're investing in some type of travel plan. It's an expensive vacation, but you're going to have a good time. For some of you, you're going to have a really good time. You're going to get really, really good news uh, from a brother or friend or a son and a well-meaning man for some of you your dad and your brother could be working together for some of you you have a friend that you consider a brother that's going to be working with uh his dad for some of you there are three men uh you have uh for some of you there are twins in your field twins i'm seeing twin men but take it how it resonates twin men that are going to work with their dad or for some of you you have four brothers for some of you there are a lot of brothers working together for some of you you could be traveling with a bunch of men internationally or at a distance and you're going to have a good time you have surprise travels here for some of you you could have a surprise visit from your dad as well coming up for some of you you have a surprise when it comes to a well-meaning man for some of you if you are with some Somebody, like uh, an official couple of some sort you know whether you're and by of some sort I should probably like specify what I mean by that because nowadays that can mean a lot of things for me what that means uh, an official couple of some sort meaning like either you are like dating as in like boyfriend and girlfriend uh, with with a commitment on the mind or you're actually already married um, this person loves you. They're a well-meaning person. This person has a brother for some, or, or for some, a bunch of brothers. Um, this person really, really loves you. Uh, for some of you, they also have a sister. Um, it could be five siblings for some, or six for some. Jesus. For some, somebody has a lot of siblings, or a few of you have, like, a lot of siblings. I'm getting nine siblings for some. I'm getting the name Kayana or Kenya, something like that. Something about Kenya is coming in. For some of you, you could be traveling to Africa. For some of you, you could be traveling to another country and you're going to do that with your family, but there are delays in these contracts for some. And you're going to invite a bunch of people to go with you and it's going to be a fun time. You're going to spend a lot of money, but it's going to be a great time. For some of you, if you are in a relationship, you have one heck of a partnership. For some of you, you also have soulmate energy here. So your soul's calling, especially when it comes to contracts. For some of you, you're signing contracts that make sense. Uh, legal business deals for some. It has, to, it has to like be emphasized for some reason. Legal business deals when it comes to uh, your soul's calling, thing that things that make you feel good. For some of you, a little bit of money coming in. But delays when it comes to money with a contract, especially for a brother for some or a friend that can talk to you about some type of contract. For some of you, you have a friend who dates your sister or you date someone's sister that's your friend. Take that how it resonates. It is coming in as you have a friend that dates your sister. Eventually. This is the type of person that like will ask like this person's very like this is a, a, a true brother so it's like can i date your sister 
Like this person either if they already did this or they want to do this, like may I date your sister? Because you have a young, young sister. For some of you, someone like in their early 20s. Um, you do have three aces here. So you have a little bit of envy in a situation. For some of you, three aces is success. But people kind of putting hurdles in your way. It doesn't feel too crazy. I don't think you have anything to worry about. But there are hurdles in the way. So for some of you, it's like things could be successful. But maybe for some of you, it's you in your own way. That's how I'm getting it. Because uh, the eight of spades spirit keeps saying. So you may be your worst enemy in a situation for some. For some of you, it's like it's all downhill. It's a downhill run. You just need to adjust to the discomfort of, of the new way of moving. That dancing energy has been very present for some. So maybe you're doing something like with your body that's out of like your normal. Again, maybe for some of you, you're working out a lot harder. And before you were kind of just like a couch potato. That takes time, right? Uh, maybe for some, you were like on some type of medication, a prescribed drug. And now you want to be on something a little bit more healthy for you because you don't want your kidneys to fucking die. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. So it's like, you know, takes time. Maybe for some, it's like you used to be a compulsive liar. And now, or somebody around you, take it how it resonates. And now you want to like make it a point to like tell the truth, even if it's uncomfortable. And that's like, that's rewiring your cells, my love. He's 46, 11. And it's a big deal. Anyways, my loves, you got two tens. You got some type of project that's going to make you very happy or you're working on projects that are going to make you very happy. You're planning for a travel for some. You got really good news coming from your dad or going to a dad. For some of you, your dad could be a military person or an officer of some sort or work in a uniform or this person too wants to travel for some of you. Anyways, it feels really good. It feels really smooth. I really don't know why you're stressed, but for some of you, you're stressed. I think you're also, the periphery energy is kind of toxic, but that's your periphery energy, especially an older female that is going to lose her life, or she's going to have the same suicide she wanted for somebody. She's going to get that. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. She wanted someone to commit suicide. You ready for that ride, my lovies? Because something's going to happen. She's going to go into a freak accident. And she's so cocky that she thought nothing was going to happen to her. It's like, how the hell do you think that nothing's going to happen to you? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> king of Spades, because it's illegal. It's the a, it's a divine courts. I told you, I felt the King of Spades. I knew they were going to do something cute because they always do something cute. King of Spades energy, the legal, the, the legal field, the medical field, uh, a legal institution, a medical institution, a banking system, an organization of people that govern others. But for some, a legal procedure that leads to somebody having a freak accident and long-term disability. That's what she wanted. She wanted to play around. So now she gets to be haunted. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, we said we would do the baraja. 47, 47. 47, 47. 11, 11. We'll work with the baraja, my lovies. And then we're, and then we'll call it done. We'll say we're done after that, my lovies. You won, my lovies. You won. You are one, my lovies. We are one. 4801. Oni va. Oni va. Oni va. Oni va. Va, va. Four of Swords, work. Uh, but for some, you know, rest, thinking. Uh, for some of you, uh, claims at work or things, insurance claims or things like that. For work, work is at the forefront of your field for some. Uh, for a lady. Oh, you got official contract. For some of you, you have an official contract. There's a lady who has an official contract here. Or you're signing an official contract with a work situation. Um, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Or this could be your lady or a lady around you. That means quite a bit to you. It will be signing an official contract for a work situation. Or officializing something when it comes to work. Ace of Swords is a, in the Baraja is a signature, an official signature, official news from a contract for some. Something that leads to an official contract, though. We have an official gentleman. We have some type of lawyer or a professional man. For some of you, a justice. Oh, and this lady. There's a man who supports a female quite a bit. Oh, and we have another female. We have a betrayal here for some. Oh, when it comes to uh, an arrangement for some, we have this man who is sick from his waist down uh some type of disillusionment uh some type of uh, a pregnancy for some for some there's a woman who's standing in a in some type of love uh when she thinks about a female who has a child 
and there's anger here for some prison energy we have um a conversation here we have a gentleman who feels like he has some type of love for a lady what is this we have high honors we have a few couples here and delays in anger we have a few couples here but it's curious to me because we have a few couples here but we have <laughs> this thruple energy has been present what did we say earlier it's awkward when you kiss an extra person everything came in for a reason in the evening time for some of you we got a, a situation here we got two couples at least we have two couples and one of the couples has two children one of the children are pissed off about something being cautious with the children because in the preliminary that was also present for some of you uh your love of your life wonderful person wonderful 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 however this person is going to be accused of doing something with a child for some of you there is a child molester in your field so do with that what you will but i think it's come up enough in the readings where i would i would heed i would try to find something out or 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 at least follow your intuition because for some of you um the adults are ignoring the red flags on um deliberately and just pretending like they're good parents but like like yeah we're just always happy and it's like oh my god anyway and then they get mad at people it's like oh the atrocities these perverted catholic priests these perverted judges these perverted politicians oh pizzagate you allow it to happen. You're seeing it and you turn a blind eye, my love. He's like, why are we lying? <laughs> like for real. The, the year of the, the the year of the lion. There's no year of the lion, but for some of you the year of the tiger, but a lion could be significant for some. Or the year of the lion. I don't know what that means, but that's how it came in. Um for some, there's a gentleman, a professional man, um, who needs some type of checkup. This person is standing in sickness. For some, that energy's been very present. Um, I'm seeing needing drugs to function. For some of you, there's a professional man or someone who works in the legal field or a medical field. This could be a medic. This could be a professional. This could be a high-ranking something or other. Uh, this person is standing in sickness and uh, may need drugs to function. Everything came in for a reason. They could actually be on like prescribed medicines, but it's now become their addiction. This I'm just a messenger. For some, you have a um, you have delays when it comes to a couple. For some of you, there's a man who's with a woman who has some type of an illusion about another female. For some, the way it feels is a bunch of people sleeping together. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Oh, because that was also, thank you, my lovies. That was also in the preliminary. For some, there are, there's a group of people that like to share, it's a swingers club, and they like to share like, sex partners and then talk about their experiences i'm just the messenger for some there is someone who's there's there's someone who's not in this shit but for some there's a female that there's there are a lot of men that like a female take it how it resonates like like have some type of an illusion for some there's a delay here but you're gonna have some type of It's like you're going to get together with someone or you're going to like officialize something with someone that you've been dating or getting to know. And this man who has a female is going to be who has two children or maybe even three at one point. So the, a son is missing. But this person has like a family and they have like they have a commitment, but they're going to be angry to find out that somebody is moving on with their lives. For some of you, there are delays in some type of contract um, and there's going to be disillusionment about a contract for some. You're going to have to announce something about a contract for some and it's going to anger certain people. 
there's going to be a lot of talk again take what resonates leave what doesn't we're getting a few different energies there's going to be a lot of talk a lot uh, among a, a liar here you go with this hit for higher energy there's going to be a talk among among a lot of ama about uh, about abdul something about abdul there's going to be a talk among a lot of people about some type of like issue with a contract where there's going to be a fallout of a contract and a gentleman who's very very sick he's standing in sickness for some of you if somebody is like trying to destroy something or this person was hired to try to like destroy something or bring an ending to a situation this person can't even stand that's why they hired such a uh i don't know this feels like a crooked deal this feels like a a, a, a crookery it feels like a crookery it's gonna fall apart a pirate, a pirate something about a pirate yeah i felt like the, i felt this white man um this uh this rival the at a distance and a white man involved in a situation and mortification and i see prison here for some somebody's worried about going to prison they don't want to uh yep they they, they traveled a far to do something but they are gonna end up i was waiting for the four of swords to show it their face because i'm feeling prison around this in the evening time and deuce, deuces deuces this person doesn't want to participate in this they are afraid 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 to do whatever they're being told to do because home invasion has also been present for some and it's not going to turn out well i would not do it for some of you you do have some type of pregnancy here as well for some of you you have prison energy here somebody's going to be on it's some type of prison here this is prison prison this is not some type of prison this is actual prison in abaraja this is prison prison this energy is prison prison and i feel and i'm seeing prison prison for two people that try to hire somebody to do something really stupid to to their house or some type of home invasion because that energy has also they try to persuade i'm getting by persuasion but this person has issues because the way i'm even slurring uh i'm picking up on someone that's on some type of like drug This person is not going to be able to do whatever he was hired to do. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, it doesn't look like a good idea. Some people are just wasteful with energy, wasteful with their time. So many things that you can do on this planet. Must, must be tied to a lot of money or someone's uh, spiritual gifts for some because it did come in on some type of gift that someone had since they were a child or they're supposed to get some type of money. We got disillusionment here. A lot of disillusionment about the illusions about some type of silly plot. They feel put on the spot because something has to do with paying someone an inheritance and it's going to leave someone uh, some broke. Paying off a huge debt. Something's going to surprise somebody when it comes to a work situation for this, this female is going to pay off a huge debt. Or it, something is owed to somebody. There's somebody that owes somebody something. The Ace of Swords to the Seven of... Uh, for some of you, this is a divorcee. Somebody doesn't want a divorce. Or this is someone who paid because they don't want to get a divorce. For some of you, this is family. You have an inheritance of a family. Anyways, my love, he's bon. I was seeing the Seven of Swords in the Affirmations Tarot. Swiper, no swiping. So for some of you, they're stealing in the field. Ooh, we got Kentucky energy. We got the choice, the lovers, the Gemini. A Gemini who doesn't lie. You don't lie, Gemini. Six of Pentacles. Something has to be given. Something has to be given to somebody. Something about Armada. Something about a Nissan Armada. Something has to be given to somebody. A lot of money. If someone could have tried to like... Um, if it wasn't like end somebody, it's like try to like intimidate someone or do something to someone's house or have them intimidated in some way where they kind of... someone. It, it's almost like wanting to push someone to lose their mind via bullying of some sort or stalking or harassing or gang stalking 
take what resonates leave what doesn't we're getting a few different energies but they're not gonna like the results of any of this and in fact it looks like they're gonna go to prison for some anyways these are family members for some <laughs> i'm just a messenger my lovey some people are pathetic they don't see it they don't get it that's why it's 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 um it's interesting to me um you know i grew up christian my my family my grandparents were very very into the church and you know certain um i i don't consider myself religious anymore but i definitely see the principles i see the principles and they're ancient principles um those texts like the bible that was taken from ancient texts so for me it's like forgive them for they know not what they do they really have no clue certain sometimes you know it happens to it happens to us i've looked at my life in certain chapters and i'm like wow i really i i'm i'm happy i went through that because now i know but there's so much i still don't know it's like dang like for me it's like i know i know for sure that there are certain lessons that i went through that i'm like wow i'm happy i endured that i'm happy i endured that but imagine everything i don't know like it's just amazing it's really amazing the mysteries forgive them father for they know not what they do it's true it's true my loves. anyways my lovey stay well because your sister friend loves you and adores you loves you and adores you your spirit friends love you and adore you love you and adore you your sister friend loves you and adores you loves you and adores you spirit friends and your sister friend and the spirit friends and your sister friend something about a reporter um watch out for the reporter that's just coming in watch out with the questions they ask you in love always my lovies in love always because it's a setup in love always in love always they're not genuine they're just looking to trap you in love always and forever homies that's always coming in peace they live a life of sin my lovies